The cattle at this research farm in Nepan are used to chewing on grass all day. Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada research biologist John Dunnisfeld has been giving them something new to chew on. Seaweed. Turns out they can't get enough of that salty goodness. So it's uh, raked on the shores of northern PEI and they dry it and then it gets ground very fine so, so it's easy for the cattle to eat. So why feed kelp to pregnant beef heifers? In Canada we have committed in the, in the cattle industry to try and reduce our, our greenhouse gas emissions by 30 percent by 2030. We call this the methane collection chamber, so the head box I guess this would be called. A pump pulls air out through a hose to a system where levels of oxygen, carbon dioxide and methane are measured. Preliminary results showed an 11 to 15 percent reduction in methane emissions to the heifers that received higher amounts of kelp. Cows are really quite neat because they can take things that we can't digest like grass and hay and when that goes into the rumen it there's bacteria and a bunch of other different microorganisms in there that will ferment that and produce what the cow needs to to live on but at the same time when they're doing that they'll produce methane and, and carbon dioxide and a few other byproducts so when we feed them the, the kelp what we are suspecting is that some of these bacteria that are producing methane are slowed down. A cow this size would need to eat a quarter cup a day to get the reduction seen in the research. It's not like feeding seaweed to livestock is new. Like if you think about a lot of the islands off of Scotland and places in northern Europe, actually livestock have been eating seaweed, especially in the winter, for really thousands of years. Because whatever would wash up on the shores would be something that the animals would eat. Even here in Nepan, studies were done back in the 1960s that looked at how much seaweed cattle could eat as an alternative feed in times of drought. 